these get torqued in three stages, 90, 120, and 170. Here you can see there's a green one, there's one of the red, green, red, and a green. So let's compare them. Green's falling, falling at 0 .0015. Let's check that again. I'd say about that on that one. And the point, so that was a. .0015. Now we will compare the red. It's gonna be a little tougher. Let's see this one. I'd say it's the point zero four zero millimeters. You agree with that? I think so. Okay, so earlier I said the minimum and maximum spec for the plastic gauge was 0 .020 minimum to 0 .086 millimeter maximum or an 8 thousandths uh, minimum to a 34 thousandths maximum. And we got on our red plastic gauge, we got 40.040 millimeters. So if we go off that, that's within range. If we go off this scale, focus. We got the point zero zero one five, so fifteen thousandths. Fifteen thousandths falls within range of between eight and thirty four thousandths. So our crank measures correctly so we can put some lube on it and torque it down but I think we actually need to put our cam in first. So uh, next you'll want to check crankshaft end play. Basically, the right tolerances between the crank and the thrust bearing. Maximum end play is 200 thousandths, not 200 thousand, two hundredths of an inch, or five. What was it? What was it? Where'd it go? Two hundredths of an inch, or 508 millimeters, which you can see 
with a micrometer is very little. That I have it set up for two hundredths. And you can see the gap's very small. Which then we will You can see it here I have the dial indicator set up. And what I'm doing is you can see the thrust bearing. is right here on either side it's a part of the main bearing and I'm going to take a screwdriver I'll take a screwdriver and try to work that crank back and forth and I don't know if there's anything against doing it without the bed plate on the uh, main caps. I can't see any problems since the uh, crank has already been torqued down once to check, so it should be seated. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to be torqued down that way if anything distorts, but we'll see if there's any play right here. I don't notice any, but we'll zero this out. Okay, so the maximum play end play this can have is two hundredths of an inch or 0 .508 millimeter. And we have it zeroed. I think. Let's see. Yep, got it zeroed. Good. So we're moving what looks like about four thousandths, and that's if I pry it. So maybe about five. That is within spec, and there's no minimum spec, so if it didn't move at all, I'd imagine it'd just kind of wear itself into place. Okay, now that we got the end play checked out, we can remove the crank and install the cam. You can see looking at this cam, you can see a little bit of wear on the centers and on the cam. You can see where the cam journal, where they wore a little bit. This cam's in really good shape. All these fine lines on the cam lobes are normal. And everything is looking, all of the peaks of the cam look great. None of them have excessive wear.
I got so involved in installing the cam and the crank, I forgot to install a freeze plug here, here, and here. These two are for the oil galleys for the uh, oh, cam follower or lifters, and this one's for the high pressure oil system, that fe or the low pressure oil that feeds the high pressure pump. Now we can finally torque the cam plate down. I, can turn. I put some Loctite on it, some blue. It doesn't say to, but I don't see why it wouldn't hurt. 